Hey everyone! So today I want to talk to you about why tarot cards have numbers. And this is a question that I never really asked myself because I had been in contact with tarot since childhood. So I just kind of took it for granted that there were numbers to all of the cards. But recently I talked to a friend who's not very experienced with tarot and she started asking me a few questions and one of them was, why do the cards have numbers? And it got me thinking, like at first I was a bit baffled because I never really thought about that. Um, so I wanted to make a video about it to kind of explain what Tarot gains by having numbers and why it might have these numbers. So there is a very large amount of numbers in Tarot. You have the trump cards or major arcana, which reach from 0 to 21, and you have the number cards for each suit. Each of the four suits has 10 number cards. So you basically have the numbers 1 through 10, and then also 0 and 11 through 21 from the major arcana as well. So that's a lot of numbers to deal with. And I think one of the major aspects why the numbers add so much value to the system of the tarot is numerology, definitely, because each number kind of has its own meaning on the journey of the tarot. So, for example, you have the fives, which usually stand for a time of instability, like a stability that you have created is being disrupted in a way and you have to find new ways to deal with what is happening to you. Or you have the tens, which of course stand for um, an absolute completion, or you have the ones, which stand for the beginning of a journey and for fresh new energy. And no matter whether it's in the trump cards, in the minor arcana cards, or anywhere in tarot, these numbers kind of always have a connection. So the One of Swords is connected to the One of Wands, and the One of Wands is connected to the Magician, which is the number one in the Major Arcana. So you have all of these connections between um, the meanings of the cards, and this can add a lot of depth to your readings as well. So if you have a Tarot spread and you have, let's say, six cards. You usually want to see how many of them um, are a certain element. For example, let's say there's three sword cards. Then you know that the sword energy or air energy is very strong in the spread. And just like that, you could see, man, there's a lot of fives in the spread. So you could also derive some meaning from that and say that maybe the client or the querent is in a situation of instability after a time of stability because they have so many fives in their spreads. So numerology not only enriches the way you can read a spread, but also how you see tarot as a whole and the relations between the cards. Now, the second level at which you can use the numbers is chronology. Chronology is very important in the major arcana as well as the minor arcana. For example, all of the 1 through 10 cards of the wands or the swords or the cups always represent a journey. And understanding this journey is a lot easier if you know the meaning of the numbers that the cards are assigned to. So if the cards didn't have numbers, there would be no order at all to the journey of the cups, which is all about relationships and letting go of past disappointments and past loves and coming to terms with your intuition. And this journey is represented by the cards one through 10 of the cups. And if you didn't have these numbers, you wouldn't understand that there's a chronology. So it definitely makes it easier to see the suits as a journey, as well as the major arcana. It's very, very important that, um, or it's one of the ways you can look at the major arcana, let's put it like that, 
the fool's journey. I mentioned it before, the zero, the fool, goes through the cards 1 to 21 in the Major Arcana. And if you didn't have the um, chronology of the cards, it wouldn't be as strong of a theory because you could assign the cards numbers as you wish and jumble around the journey, which is, of course, important if you want to engage more in tarot. But for a beginner, it's much easier to look at the cards in succession if you want to understand the theory behind the tarot. Now, the reason that tarot cards undoubtedly have numbers is because they originally derived from a card game. Um, of course, there's a dispute about where tarot actually came from and where the system behind it came from. But in general, it is accepted that it started as a card game. So you had the 56 cards of the minor arcana, which is the same amount as a normal card game. And then you have the trump cards or the major arcana. And in order to play a card game, a lot of the time, traditionally, you need numbers. And because Tarot basically derives from an Italian card game, that's why the cards have numbers. And it's just an added value that you have the numerology and the chronology of the cards that adds so much depth to the interpretation of the theory of Tarot, as well as the spreads that you lay for yourself or others. So yeah. That's my take on why tarot cards have numbers and what these numbers can help us with. I will also make a video about numerology and about what specifically the numbers 1 through 10 can mean. I will put a link to that up here. And yeah, I hope you learned something today. I hope this was inspiring and I wish you all the best in your tarot journey. See you next time. Thank you.